Hey guys, so I'm hanging out here in Germany right now and thought this would be appropriate to tell you guys a little bit about German unification as a reminder for you for some of the things we've been talking about. Um, so remember, Germany spent most of its time as not a unified country, as you can actually see from up here, if I can find it, we've got our Holy Roman Emperors up there on the top of that house. Um, so essentially what we've got here with Germany is a nation that for a lot of its history is, um, excuse me, is trying to figure out how to maintain that strength that it needs and that it wants. Uh, and of course, uh, the Holy Roman Empire crumbles under the reign of Napoleon Bonaparte. And it is not gonna be until the 1800s with Otto von Bismarck until Germany really starts to unify. And of course, their big thing uh, is militarism. You know, if you remember anything about um, Prussian power, it's gotta be that militarism. So Bismarck is able to kind of consolidate power under the Kaiser, um, Kaiser Wilhelm. They're in uh, Prussia uh, between the Austro-Prussian uh, War, the Seven Weeks War, and the Franco-Prussian War. He's able to consolidate Prussian power, and that is going to lead to German unification in the 1800s. One of the most significant events probably of the 20th century, or 19th century leading into the 20th century. So that's a name you definitely should know. Otto von Bismarck changed the history of Germany for the... Um, 19th and 20th centuries and really is going to set the stage for the beginnings of World War One and World War Two. So I will catch you guys in just a few minutes when I head on over to Italy that way. But until then, I'll see you soon.